Okay, Sharon, this is your February 16th, 2023 lesson. Uh, you, you're hitting the ball really well, okay? So the, the setup is great. Everything is just spot on. So you get good grades there, and then the takeaway, position two, is really good too. Throw the clubs up, the shaft is uh, 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 parallel to the ground and parallel to your toe line. You know, uh, it's just really good. Okay, so, so position three. Now you got the head kind of going forward there a bit. So when we get to position three, you know, it started at that semi X and it's now here. That's almost two inches. So you got this thing going forward and I just think it Okay, so the takeaway, the head movement is is going forward and yeah, so so but this spot, see how it's it's parallel to the club, then it gets a little steeper. See that angle? Mm -hmm. It's just a little steeper. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's that's kind of the old school like Faldo and Led better guys would go back steep. And then, then they reroute it and shallow it out. The modern swing is you take it right up and down. Okay. Uh, it's just easier to repeat. And and the reason the pros could do it is they're up here and they start their lower body way faster than any amateur. Okay. So this this taking back on 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 the one plane and coming down on the plane is just way better. Yeah. So it's a small thing, but well, look, you, you've got, you'll have to have a shallowing in here. So the, the elbow is still a little behind you. Now, now you can get by with the elbow behind you, but it's got to go to your side okay. immediately. Okay. And that's, that's, that's how it shallows, okay. So it's still steep, you're coming down, and the elbow is getting to your side, see it's in, it's inside your body from this perspective, right? Yeah. yeah. Which is better than floating. Yeah. But it's still. Could be better. Then, then, at the last minute. Yeah, you never, never quite get it on plane. Oh, okay. And that's why it isn't, you know, isn't on the forearm. Okay. Okay. So. So you can hardly see it. In the yeah, yeah. Okay, so, but you can here, and we, we want it right up the forearm okay. at, at this point. Now, this, so you want it right up there, and it's here. Now, see this, see how, see how short here? Your club looks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So okay, you you so the cast. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. I'm exactly. Not yeah. Okay. And we, it's better to see it from the other end. But you know what was great was we got got Chuck Chuck going uh, on plane and he got it on his forearm and you could see the entire shaft. So he was casting. Yeah. It was it was pretty cool. Oh wow. So yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Uh, now, now when you come down, so at this point, the club is slightly outside your hands. We want it, you know, you know, we want it just slightly inside. Okay. Okay. The head is still an inch over the ball, and you come away from the back wall a bit. You know, that's the same distance, right? Yeah. Yeah. As as your head, so the body's gone this way. Now let's see what happens when you get weight on the other side of the center line. So, so this is this is close enough for our plane. This is fine right in here, and that's why you can hit it. And look, you're getting the 
the lower body is going fine. Then you got the you still got the dive down of the head. Okay. And I think what what you're doing there you know, that's not causing any great trauma, but it's just extra movement. Yeah, yeah. And if you start diving down before yeah, yeah. yeah. So you really want you really want to keep this thing you know, the head comes down like here and then it as as you end up posting up it's it comes up a bit, but it just stays here. Okay. And then and then once that that arm hits, then you can kind of stand up. Okay. Straight, you know, and I just think that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think this is is why it's you end up pushing it or pushing it left. So it's just, you know, it's a it's it's a pretty pretty severe move here. Okay. And so so it's going this way. There's no way you're going to get that left hip pocket to right. the back wall right. because you got you're yes. going forward like that's like a half of that's six inches. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you're you're, you're just kind of stuck, blocked in here, you know, and all you know, as opposed to here, and then we roll and we get to this thing. It just lengthens it and, and keeps it going down the line. Okay. So we should see the path. So I should be standing up more at the very end. Exactly. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I noticed that. Okay, so we just went over your your uh, this top position. You know, I'd like to see that left shoulder a little more over the right foot. And look at the action with the right foot. See that? So you kind so this is this is the backswing. See how you're rolling it this way? Oh, yeah. yeah. So we want to you know, yeah. work on keeping yeah. like a ball. Yeah. Okay. Pushing here. Okay. You know. So so you you got the ankle. The foot is going like this, and usually the hip goes like that. You've curtailed that. You know. You know. So we want that hip to go back, and this is all loaded up, but off. Yeah, with the pressure on that the insole. Okay, so, so, but you know, from here on, this is golden. Okay. So in this case, you're pulling the head back, which is okay, but diving down. Okay. So now, this is the second thing we're working on, is, is the cast. Okay. You got to double check your grip to make sure it's under the pad, and then watch when you come down. This is just old programming, so you have a nice lag. Then all of a sudden, see you're you're yeah. you're, you're releasing the lag too early. And look, there's no there's no real lag at this point, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. So so. What, what's happening is, so you got release out here. Now from here on, you're you're losing a lever, okay, and yeah. you're dragging the club head yeah. through. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we we can, you know, I'd like to see you work on that. Okay. I, I look at that. Look at that grip. Okay. So we just went over the grip thing here. And you've come out of it, and and um, you know the fix is do a practice swing and double check your grip on the range, double check your grip on the follow through after you swing, and and make sure you don't come down. And and I've seen this before where people have a flying elbow, and in order to get it on plane, it has to go down in that little groove. So. Let's work on this. It's going to be easier to keep the proper grip okay. and all. So back to the swing. So look at the lower body action. You're kind of stuck back, but look, this is golden. You got the tug of war position here. The belt buckles where the left hip started, which is excellent. 
posted up on the left leg. This is caved in. 